Good morning, friends at Washington Street. I'm happy to see you today. It's Sunday, and I'm calling today Hat Day because we're going to be talking about hats. So Mr. Harvey is filming me, and you can't see him, but I'm going to show you some hats that I have that you might like. This is the hat that I wear when I'm working in the yard or when I don't wash my hair and I don't want anybody to see my hair. And um, I really like this hat because it also keeps the sun off of my nose. And this is the hat that I wear when I go on the beach. And it keeps the sun off my nose and my shoulder and my neck, which is super, super helpful. And then this is my silly hat. And I think Harvey wore this as a costume once. But it's the one that I like to put on when I'm being really silly, and I like to use it for fun and games. Mr. Harvey is shaking his head. He does not like no, that I'm, hat. And I don't I do the bells. It. Oh, and it has the bells on it, too, so that's super fun. But I'm going to read you a book today about an old woman named Miss Fanny, and the book is called Miss Fanny's Hat. And I'm going to read you the lines of the book, and then I'm going to show you the pictures. But Miss Fanny has some really nice hats, and I don't have any hats that are nice as hers. The book is by Jan Karen. Miss Fanny has lots of hats and each one is her favorite. Look at all those hats she has. When she wears her red felt hat with the big feather, she looks in the mirror and says, I just love this hat. And her friends at church say, Miss Fanny, we just love that hat. When she wears her green velour with the fancy pin, she says, I sure do love this hat. And her Sunday school teacher says, Miss Fanny, I sure do love that hat. But when she wears her famous pink straw with the silk roses, she always says, I really love this hat. And everyone else really loves it too. So you can see here's the red one, and here's the green one, and then there's the pink one with all the pretty flowers on it, and that's the one that she really loves. Miss Fanny is 99 years old and very small. In fact, she's grown to be about the same size she was as a little girl. Miss Fanny and her daughter, Miss Wanda, live together. Miss Wanda makes breakfast every morning. Don't make me much breakfast, says Miss Fanny, sitting on the sofa in her robe. Miss Wanda tries to mind, but because Miss Fanny is her mama, but she forgets and brings her a piece of sausage, buttered toast with jelly, and a scrambled egg, and a cup of herb tea. Oh my, that's way too much, Miss Fanny always says, but then she goes and eats it all up. So you can see Miss Fanny and her daughter, Miss Wanda. Every morning after breakfast, Miss Fanny reads her Bible. She has worn out three Bibles reading them over and over. Her very favorite verse is, with God, all things are possible. Every Saturday, Miss Wanda washes Miss Fanny's hair. Miss Fanny takes off her robe and stands around in her slip looking very tiny. Then she gets on a stool and sticks her head in the sink. Miss Wanda runs the warm water and puts shampoo on her mama's head and scrubs it until it lathers up. Then she scrubs it some more. That feels good, says Miss Fanny. After she washes her mama's hair, Miss Wanda rolls it up in tight little curls all over her head. The curlers are real hard to sleep in, but Miss Fanny doesn't care one bit. She knows that when she goes to church the next day, she will look beautiful. On Sunday morning, Miss Fanny puts on a pretty dress and high-heeled shoes. She puts on earrings and necklaces and lipstick and blusher and powder. Next, Miss Wanda combs out her mama's hair, which is all nice and soft and gray, like the feathers of a dove. Doesn't she look pretty? 
then finally, after all that fussing with her hair, she goes and hides it under a hat. Miss Fanny has three black hats, two red hats, one green hat, two white hats, two navy hats, three beige hats, one brown hat, and the famous pink straw with roses. Because she never wears the same one twice in a row, some people think she has a whole closet full of hats, which of course she does. She has lots of hats. One Sunday, Miss Fanny's handsome young preacher came up to her and said, Miss Fanny, would you kindly give us one of your beautiful hats? It will go in the auction to fix up the church for Easter. That same day, Miss Wanda helped her mama get out her hats and put them on the bed and dressing table. Then Miss Fanny closed her bedroom door. Lord, she said aloud, I'd appreciate it if you'd help me make the best choice. She always talked to the Lord as if he was right there. Miss Fanny has some thinking and praying to do, doesn't she? Because she wants to really help her church. Now she's really thinking and praying. Look at all those hats. Which one do you think she will pick? We'll find out in a minute. Miss Fanny walked around the room and looked at each one of her hats. The green velour with the fancy pin was very old and still very beautiful. During the terrible flood of 1916, she had crossed the swollen river on a ferry to visit her mother and father. As she stood at the rail holding on to her beautiful hat, a house had floated by almost close enough to touch her. And over there was her wide brim felt with the greening black gleaming black feather. Ha! That feather had come from the tail of a hawk that was trying to kill her hens and biddies. She had grabbed the hawk around the neck and before you could say doodly squat, that hawk would never bother her chickens again. You can see Miss Fanny on the boat and you can see her fighting that chicken. The hawk, sorry. Then Miss Fanny picked up the hat made of soft brown velvet and stroked it. It had always reminded her of Flower, her grandmother's cow. When Miss Fanny was just seven years old, she had started milking the brown velvety soft flower. Each evening, she carried the milk to the spring in a bucket and set it in the icy water to keep cool. Later, her mama would pour the milk into a churn and Miss Fanny would churn it into butter just like you buy in the store, except better. She realized that each one of her hats was like a friend and each one brought back special memories. Finally, Miss Fanny came to her most favorite hat of all, the pink straw with the silk roses. She had worn it every Easter Sunday for 35 years and it always made her feel brand new like Easter itself. But she wasn't the only one who thought it was special. Everyone at church looked for her pink hat on Easter Sunday, just as they looked for the tulips and daffodils to bloom in the spring. See her cow, and then you can see her beautiful hat and what she looked like on Easter Sunday. Sure made her look beautiful, didn't it? Miss Fanny took the pink straw out of its round box and put it on, even though she was wearing her oldest house dress with the torn pocket. She looked in the mirror and sighed. In her heart, she did not want to give her hat away, not at all. She took a deep breath and repeated her favorite Bible verse. As she placed the hat back in its round box, she said, you know, this hat really could raise a lot of money. As she put the lid on the box, she said, maybe it could help fix our old pipe organ. And as she tied the string around the lid, she said, why, it could probably mend the crack in the church bell or put a whole new roof on. Suddenly, she discovered she was very, very excited. <clears throat> At the church auction, auction, the handsome young preacher held up the pink hat with roses and looked around. What am I bid for Miss Fanny's famous hat? The bidding took a 
lickety-split. At last, there was something more exciting to bid on than a set of kitchen canisters or an umbrella stand. Bang went to the gavel, sold to the lady in the front row. The lady in the front row gave the preacher a check and seemed very, very pleased with herself. That's a lot of money, exclaimed Miss Wanda, who was impressed. Miss Fanny clapped her hands. It was enough to really get things fixed around here. She knew she would not miss her favorite hat one bit, but she did wonder which hat she would wear on Easter morning. What do you think she is going to wear? I really love this book. On Easter San Sunday, Miss Fanny got up very early. She sat on the side of her bed and took the curlers out of her hair. Although she thought and thought, she didn't have the slightest idea which hat she would wear. Her red felt with the big feather was too hot. Her green velour with the fancy pin was too wintry. And there was just no use to even think about the pink straw, which of course would have been just right. When it was time to leave for church, Miss Fanny looked beautiful. She was wearing her best dress, which was the color of pale green apples. She was also wearing her best jewelry, her best gloves, and a white corsage. It's time to go, said Miss Fanny, picking up her cane and taking Miss Wanda's arm. Miss Wanda could not believe her eyes. What do you think, what hat do you think she was wearing? Her mama was going out the door without wearing any hat at all. And she looks just as beautiful, doesn't she? When they arrived at church, Miss Fanny couldn't believe her eyes. On either side of the freshly painted church, someone had planted a bed of glorious pink roses. Pink roses were also planted along the walkway under the stained glass windows and in front of the old fence by the street. Oh, Mama, said Miss Wanda, it looks just like your pink hat. Doesn't that look beautiful? The handsome young preacher greeted them on the steps and gave each one a big hug. We hope you're pleased, Miss Fanny. We were able to patch the bell and fix the organ, and your beautiful hat made it possible to buy all these roses. As Miss Fanny laughed with delight, they didn't see an old woman at all. What they saw was a young girl with hair as soft as the feathers of a dove. Now when people pass the little white church, they think they're seeing a garden of dazzling pink roses. But what they're really seeing is Miss Fanny's hat, and it will always, always be her favorite. Thank you for reading with me this morning. I love you very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday.